Um, the reason we decided to go down the Microsoft Office Specialist route, um, basically the old style GCSE that we used to offer as a compulsory qualification, um, the feedback we were getting from the students, um, especially as they moved on up the school and were looking for employment, was that those qualifications didn't really give them the skills they needed to be a success in the workplace. Um, so we looked at all the different courses available and we decided that the best one to support the students, to give them real essential uh, skills that would benefit them in the workplace was the Microsoft Office Specialist course. The certifications we offer our students here are the Microsoft Office Specialist qualifications. Um, we currently do that in Office 2007. Um, the core modules they have to study are Word, Excel and PowerPoint and they can choose to do optional exams in Access and Outlook. The, the way that the course is delivered to the students, uh, we have the uh, materials produced by Microsoft um, which we make available to the students. Uh, we also have some in-house prepared materials um, but we do also rely quite heavily on the Gmetric software which is provided by Prodigy. Um, it has some interactive help, uh, some training sections for the students to go through uh, which gives them immediate feedback on what they've done well and how they can improve and it also has a mock test uh, feature as well which we also use for the students to prepare them for the real exams. Definitely, um, especially with the Gmetrics, uh, we do insist that the students achieve two scores over 90% in the Gmetric software before we enter them for the real exam. Um, and we find that if they're able to hit that standard, then we look at about 90-95% pass rate for the first time in the, uh, the real exams. That has been a, a major, major plus point for us here at Chisholm Sid. Um, and we, we've got nearly 200 students in the year group that take the exams. Um, and what we've had to do previously is we've had to purchase one exam for, for Word, Excel and PowerPoint for each of the students. Um, if they are unfortunate enough to not pass first time, we've actually then had to go back to the parents and say, unfortunately you would be liable to pay for the reset costs. Um, there, there's then the admin process involved and then getting the payments and then getting the students to take the reset. Uh, the No Limits um, exam pack we've actually purchased takes that pressure away uh, and actually allows us to then just focus on getting the students through the exam. If they're unfortunate enough not to pass, we can then book them straight back in for a reset um, at the convenience of, of them and for us and then do, this, do the exam straight away. And it means we can also offer the additional exams to the students without having to worry about paying for those as well. So we've seen an uptake in the number of students who have voluntarily come and study the extra modules as well. Partly is down to the fact that the way the course is structured, the fact that the students recognise immediately they're getting really, really useful, helpful skills that are going to benefit them not only in school but as they move on into the workplace. So that's a, a big battle already won. Um, and then the fact that everything's really interactive and really fun for them, um, especially with the geometric software, the fact that it gives them feedback in every question. Well, okay, you didn't quite get that right, this is how you could do it and they can see the benefit as they move on, question by question, exactly, uh, exactly what they're getting from this. The support we've received from Prodigy has been, has been excellent. Uh, we've been very happy with that. Any questions we've had, um, emails have been answered sort of in the same day. Um, there's always someone at the end of the phone if we need to phone someone up. Um, the advice we've received has always been extremely helpful. Any questions we've had, issues about how we can possibly improve any of the processes have been taken on board and actually implemented. The next step for, for Chisholm Sid is that we're going to look at the other benefits we have of the IT Academy. Um, currently we offer the Microsoft Office Specialist qualification to our Year 10 students as their compulsory course, um, but we are, as I said, looking at the extra modules for those students. Um, as well as that, we're going to be looking at the maybe the MCP qualifications, maybe for our uh, A-level students. We're also currently exploring maybe offering the MOS course out to parents and uh, maybe some local businesses as well to see if they can potentially come in and get some of their staff and employees trained up as well. So hopefully over the next year we'll see some, uh, some big changes going on out into the community for the benefits from us being an IT academy.